hello hello welcome welcome to a new vlog um wait i still have my burkies on i stepped on the balcony and the tiles are really hot so now my feet hurt so when i went into the garden i put on some slippers i went to water the um potatoes i'll show you how much they've grown But it's really hot. I will check how hot it is in a second. But everything is getting really big. But I look a little bit whoop, sad right now, but I just watered them. So they will be okay. I also did some nice decorating of the desk. It's a bit messy now. And my um, computer is having a hard life with um, it's. 31 degrees summer life I have to charge my phone and tomorrow it will also be 31 or 32 and then on Monday it won't be that hot maybe we'll see um, I've been home alone all day I'm gonna get my charger um, doing stuff and John will be home in about an hour and then just like last week we're gonna eat pizza because some days you have to be lazy and treat yourself and tomorrow in the crazy heat we're going to Amsterdam because my little niece turned one yesterday so phone charging Yes, um, but she turned one and um, for her big sister, who is two and a half, I painted a bear when she turned one. So for her, I painted a fox for her birthday. Um, I have to wrap that up and then over here I have some wrapping sets. I put the oop, little logo tabs on there i still have to stitch those so i'm gonna do that in a minute i just added a, a video and i made a little can you see him <laughs> a sage smoke stick um because mine is almost done and separating so it's warm but I'm having a nice day. I also hung my cathedral picture. So I'm a little bit overheated. Um, but I will be okay. And I'm having a nice day. So that's great. Um, we're having a long weekend. Because the friend I make uh, web shop pictures for went to France today. So... Um, I worked yesterday, not today. And I have to feed Martina's cat because she went to a festival. So um, I'll show you the day with the big chunk. But first I'm gonna stitch on the little tabs so they're done. And then next week I can take pictures of them at Frederick's um, photo studio. <laughs> shining on my leg now but it's okay I like heat it's really nice to have like a chill day I also posted on Instagram it's nice to have a day um, where you didn't really plan on doing much except for painting the little fox um, but you turn out to do some chilling and some thinking and then do other stuff so that's nice
crochet thing is an essential part of life. weights in here. I don't know where to put the weights. How do you stretch? I don't remember what were the backups. We did it! We did it! We did it! But the thing is, especially in the winter, this helps a lot with that I can film at every moment of the day. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the corner and then turn it on. Stay ready. Are we ready? I'm not sure if I'm ready. So if you have two, lighting will be great. But it's the little part. It's really white light, but maybe we can put something in front of it to make it a little bit more warm. I don't think I have anything warmer here right now, but we have light, so that's nice. The question is, am I going to construct and deconstruct them every time, or just put them somewhere? I'll think about it. Bye.
it's mid cleaning day and i decided it's not midday yet oh maybe it's almost 12. um but i was getting ready to leave and look at this this boy look at him do you want a hand for reference what kind of spider is this what are you I have a little piece of toilet paper here, so I'm going to put him outside. I'm going to send John a picture first. Okay, now we can go. Um, we don't kill spiders in this house. Um, they eat mosquitoes, but when they're this size, I'm not sure if I want them inside. Um, but he's happily living in the lavender now. By the way, look how pretty. Uh, hydrangea, hard, hard, hard. It's it's like blue and purple and pink, and next to it is uh, lavender. And here we have all kinds of food. It looks so nice. Summary makes me really happy when I walk outside the hydrangea. I can't say hydrangea. It's called a hortensia in Dutch. But John changed something about the settings. Here and now it looks like a, a moody rainforest. Really nice. Um, I bought two pairs of these insoles and I already put them in the vents I bought because um, there's like a, a tear or something in the inner sole of the vents. But now I cannot feel it anymore. Um, and it's nice and squishy. The, this other pair is for the Nikes I got because they have the same problem. Um, I bought a window thingy, it's a squeegee, um, but it's from the brand, brand Vileda and it's made in Belgium and I've used this one before, these are the best and it was also pretty cheap um, at the blocker, it was five something. The little soles, insoles were from the Decathlon and I also got uh, hiking socks but the lower ones and these are just all black at the top so if it sticks out of vans or whatever it doesn't look like you got the last weird pair of socks out of the cupboard. Your wardrobe. Where, where do people keep socks? And then I have um, some um, candles, some orangey brown ones, a green one, this is really horrible lighting, I block the outside, does it work? Probably not, still horrible, I think we have to live with it. And I bought some more of these tiny jars. Because um, I want to collect sand from holiday locations. Some skinny candles. Your little battery is flashing. Let me see what else I've got. Um, I also have a gold candle. And this one. A black candle. Hello. Black candle. That's it. And then I also got a really tiny stamp. Of a little moth. And I hate moth. 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 Thing. Why I can't say stuff like moth. Um, the multiple of moth. I used to lisp when I was little. And then um, I had remedial. Is it remedial teaching? 
לא יכול בלי, נאום. Um, but I train you to not lisp, and in English you have to make the sound that you do when you lisp in Dutch. The th sound. Moth is the lisping sound. So um, I cannot say um, those sounds in English because I was trained so well to not lisp anymore. Um, but maybe you can untrain me. But a tiny moth stamp. Um, I thought that would be nice for in the bullet journal to make like a vibey, a vibey vibe. Okay, um, I'm gonna put this all the way. And I should go on um, vacuuming, the vacuuming the house. What time is it? All the time in the world. Good morning. It's a Wednesday. Um, I wanted. To, ooh, it's gonna be hot today. I think it's gonna be 28 degrees. Um, in some places in the world, that's not hot. I know, but um, the humidity in the Netherlands is quite something. Um, it's a quarter past eight. I have a half hour bike ride in front of me, so I have a little bit of time left. Um, but I wanted to say, um, good morning, tiny humans. Our neighbors have, have two little kids, so um, I think they're about to leave for school or whatever kind of care tiny humans get. And mom and dad have to work. Um, what I wanted to talk about is, especially on Wednesday, because it's a long day of the less funner work. Um, I can wake up like, oh, it's Wednesday, I have to do this. But the bike ride on Wednesday is actually pretty nice because I have to bike out of the city. And it's more, there are plants, there are things, fresh air, the weather is nice. And I think in a lot of situations you can hype yourself up to do something or talk your excitement down or talk yourself down. And then it's the most horrible thing in the world. If I'm like, oh, I have to ride my bike for half an hour. Um, I don't get it excited, but if I um, think, ah, oh, I can be outside for half an hour before I have to do something, then it's not that bad. What is bad is the state of this window. Look how dirty it is. That's why I bought this, but then I still have to use it every time I wash our windows. Um, it starts raining. And I believe it's going to rain tomorrow. Let me check. Yes. A hundred percent chance of rain. Yay. So I'm going to try. 
to hype myself up for things that are less exciting in life. And then tomorrow, I also accept that on Wednesday when I come back at quarter past four or something like that, I crash and don't do anything anymore. So I don't get on myself for not doing anything thing on Wednesday evening. Um, great lighting. I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to put on some shoes. <laughs>